Welcome back to New England Living. I'm Rachel Holt. Proper English tea, antique china, and freshly baked scones. It's time to sit down for an authentic British experience. Adele Donegan is the owner and founder of the Vintage Tea and Cake Company. Tea in England and in Ireland is a huge, very elegant affair where you go and have delicious finger sandwiches and little cakes and just have a really nice, relaxed afternoon. Sometimes afternoon tea can be thought of as a really formal or stuffy thing even, but that's not the feel that I get when I sit down here. Our aim is to create an environment where it's a little bit more fun, more relaxed. I want guests to enjoy a special experience that they might not have enjoyed before. It's just kind of like a nice light meal and it just makes for a fun occasion. I want to find out more about your background and how this all got started. I grew up internationally. I've lived in the Middle East. I've lived in Colombia. I graduated high school from Amsterdam. And then I moved to England. I loved afternoon tea. When I moved to Boston, I wanted to offer that experience to clients here. I can't stop looking at all the different plates and teacups here. And what I love about them is they're all a little different. The china is definitely one of my favorite parts of doing this business. I love shopping in antique stores, thrift stores. Any chance I get, I'll pop into one and see if I can find pretty plates, vintage glassware, teacups. If I find a teapot especially, I get super, super excited. We are also very lucky to have many people donate to China. They want to give it a good home. They donate it to us and we display it here and use it here on a daily basis now. And our China has catered probably over a thousand events over the last 10 years and it's my favorite part. <laughs> Adele, these scones have been teasing me this entire time. They look delicious. Is it time for the tasting yet? Thank you, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, let's, um, let's get some tea on and we can try some of our popular flavors and maybe a new flavor that you haven't tried before. Sounds great. And with that, it was time for some tea. This table is everything I've ever dreamed of and so much more. What do we have here? We have a uh, Ceylon Orange Paco, which is an alternative that is great. It's a great black tea, and although it has orange in its name, it doesn't have any orange in it. It's got some honey chocolatey notes to it. Delicious, and I feel so fancy. Mm. <laughs> and is this one of your more popular teas? Yes, it is. People who know tea a little bit more tend to go for it. It's just um, an adventurous flavor, just a little bit more notes to it than your classic blacks like English breakfast and Earl Grey. And I can't stop looking at this teapot. Obviously it's bright yellow, but it's just gorgeous. Yes, it's one of my favorites. We recently had a very nice lady donate about 20 teapots to us. Her aunt had collected over 500 teapots in her <laughs> lifetime, so she was looking for a home for them and we happily took them in. And yes, they're all beautiful and unique in their own ways. So Rachel, this is one of my favorite teas. This is our vanilla chai. It's just got a little bit more flavor, a little bit more exciting. I love having it with milk and sugar. It tastes cinnamon. That is incredible. Yeah. And I love how you can try so many different options here. And pinky out, is that a thing in England? Yes. That we should pinky be doing? Out. Okay, pinky Proper out. Etiquette. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, we tried the Ceylon, the vanilla chai. What's in the third pot? So this is a very different tea. It's rooibos. It's a red tea that's grown in South Africa. It tastes a little bit like a black tea, but it's herbal, it's got no caffeine, it's got some great health benefits to it. I have actually not tried it yet, so I'm excited to try it and see what it tastes like. We'll take all the health benefits we can get as I stare at this plate of desserts that I'm gonna house in a few minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Very light, fruity, earthy. You actually haven't tried this one before, so what do you think? Mm, I think it would be great right before bedtime or even iced. They're all so good. How do you pick just one? Well, that's why we love to offer our customers a couple of teapots so they can try different flavors and also their favorite go-tos like English breakfast and Earl Grey. As far as the food goes, there are so many options here. What do we have? So this is a pretty standard afternoon tea menu. We have a couple of desserts. 
We have our scones, and then we have a selection of our finger sandwiches. It's pretty seasonal, and we like to play around with our menu, so every couple months we switch it up, so you can always come back and try new things. I personally like to start with the scones first, so should we try one? We've been hearing so much about these scones, we have to try one. <laughs> And what's the secret here? There is the debate of whether strawberry jam goes on first or the clotted cream. The queen likes the jam first and then the cream on top. So that's a, the very like classic British thing to do. However the queen is doing it, I feel like that's the right way that we should be doing it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, so jam first. Jam first. And what is clotted cream? I've never heard of that before. Clotted cream is a English delicacy. It is the top layer of unpasteurized cream, and it has a very unique texture to it. I love it. Oh, wow. Mm. I can see why you're famous for these now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's the secret to making a great scone? Crunchy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside, hint of butter, not too sweet. That's my idea of a perfect scone. Whatever the secret is, I think you figured it out. That is amazing. Thank you. All the work that you put into this, it's clear you have to love what you do. What do you love the most about it? I love everything about it. I love the china. I love engaging with new clients, meeting new people, baking. It's all a learning process for me. I hope to be able to offer this experience to as many friends and family and loved ones as possible. Coming up after this on New England Living, we're heading to our test kitchen for some Italian cooking, Strega style.